Los Angeles, California, March 27, photo by Andrew D. Bernstein, NBA via Getty Images The Milwaukee Bucks were unable to start their pivotal West Coast swing off on a strong note as they were edged out by the LA Clippers by 105-98 on Tuesday night. Both the Clippers and Bucks got off to hot starts offensively to begin the night, it just so happened that the Clippers did the greater damage by finding their collective rhythm from beyond the arc, powering their play in the process. While the Bucks were able to make up some ground in the latter stages of the first quarter, the Clippers still held a 35-29 advantage after one. At first, the Bucks were unable to carry over their promising play from the end of the first into the second quarter as the Clippers raced to a 14-4 run until the 7.52 mark of the period. From there, the Bucks were able to gradually whittle the gap down to keep within distance of the Clippers by trailing 62-56 heading into half-time. This time, the Bucks were able to convey their momentum out of the break as they consistently made it a single possession game by mostly matching every move the Clippers made throughout the third. The Bucks' persistence eventually paid off considering they took their first lead since the opening moments of the game and possessed a 82-78 advantage with 12 minutes to go. Despite some shaky moments, the Bucks kept that up for the opening minutes of the fourth quarter. But from the 7-13 mark of the frame onwards, the Clippers finished on a 22-10 run as the Bucks' play largely deteriorated down the final stretch of the game. So without further ado, let's dive deeper into the Bucks' loss to the LA Clippers from Tuesday night. Page 2 LOS Angeles, CA, March 27, photo by Andrew D. Bernstein, NBA -E via Getty Images It was well into Tuesday night's game before we saw him in force on both ends of the floor, but Giannis Antetokounmpo captained the Bucks' ship to help put them in a position to potentially snag a victory before what ended up being the final result. While it took some time for him to click into a rhythm offensively, the saving grace of Yanis' first half was his strong defensive play as the 23-year-old absolutely swallowed up and rejected shots at the rim on multiple occasions. It was just moments into the second half when Yanis ratcheted up his attacking mentality on the offensive end, which was aided by his ability to get the benefit of the whistle from the Knights officials though, Yanis didnt capitalize on those opportunities as much as one would like as he converted just five of his nine attempts from the foul line, all in all, Antetokounmpo finished with 26 points on 10 of 16 shooting from the field 1 of 2 from 3, 9 rebounds, 7 assists, 5 blocks, 4 turnovers and was a minus 4 in just over 30 39 and a half minutes of burn. In what stacks up as one of his finer, if not finest two-way performance of the, it's clear that their WASNT much else Yanis could have done to swing the result in the Bucks' favor last night. Page 3 Use your arrows to browse the Los Angeles, CA, March 27, photo by Andrew D. Bernstein, NBA -E via Getty Images Be a wide margin, the area of Tuesday night's game where the Bucks struggled mightily on both ends of the floor was from behind the three-point line. For the night, the Clippers knocked down 15 of their 28 attempts from three, which stands at 53.6%. By comparison, the Bucks only connected on six of their 23 attempts from long range. The Clippers got off to a magnificent start from beyond the arc as they knocked down their first seven attempts from deep for the night, feeling their hot start offensively. While the rest of the Clippers' makes would come in waves for the rest of the game, they continued to generate quality looks from deep by taking advantage of the Bucks' inconsistent engagement on the defensive end. The Bucks couldn't find that same spark from that area of the floor as Kreis Middleton, Jason Terry and Giannis Antetokounmpo combined to sink the handful of makes the team had for the game. While the Bucks were exposed in other aspects of the game, being unable to make up any ground in the three-point department both offensively and defensively ultimately did them in to earn the loss. Use your arrows to browse.